with me again 10 seconds later. <laughs> it's Sunday now. We're at the Kings. This is the place of residence last night. Kerry was out on the deck. Luke's been farting all night up the front. Uh, the Kingfish is still here, surprisingly. We sort of were hoping that was going to get sharked in the night, but it didn't. Um, we're just arising now, it's about 6.30 isn't it? Uh, it's got to be something like that. And uh, it was a bit of a bumpy night, I think everyone slept about the same by the sounds of things and we're going to get back in the water today, we don't know where, we don't really know what we're doing yet do we? But we'll, we'll make a plan. sort of plan in the next clip or two and go from there. Yeah! Jeez, it looks looks meaty. <laughs> Look at it, eh? It's just dumping straight out there. Whew. Right, boys are in the water. Um, just throwing out a few chunks for them off that kingy frame and keeping an eye on things. We're in 22 metres, I think they're up a little bit shallow. The water's only 14.7, so it's bloody cold. It's surprisingly cold. Anything antibacterial in there? <laughs> See what is antibacterial. Oh, that's good. Nice. Is there anything antibacterial in there? <laughs> 
Say what is any big carrier? Oh, that's good. Well, the massacre's over. There's a couple more fish in the boat. Plenty of blood, plenty of guts. The bin's chocker, ain't it? Just gonna fish another, another fish in there. Oh no, I reckon we could get another one. A few bags of ice though. A couple of Cherokee. We get in there maybe. A couple of powers. A couple of powers, yes. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's go get them. Let's go. Nothing else to do. No. I'll let them. Yeah. It's quite a bloody big goldie over there. Oh, yeah. That's why I've taken so long. I'm tempted to go back and shoot. <laughs> eh? Yeah. Fuck. Oh, yeah, just suck us my eye. I'd hold it afloat. Uh, yeah, we can do, sure. Shoot him? <laughs> yeah, you sort of feel half <laughs> bad for a mate. <laughs> really? Have you shot him before? I got one yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I might as well. <laughs>
only got 146 k's to go, boys. That's all right. All right. This is conditions that you can run really happily in. <laughs> If it stays like this all the way back to fucking North Cape, I'll be so stoked. It'll be absolutely perfect. I'd gladly come up in the Thundercat in these conditions. Oh yeah. 60 knots. Yeah. Full white. <laughs> well, we're exiting the three kings. I have to say, We've got the kings behind us, we're out of here, we're doing 23 knots, we've got about three hours of boat travel right now, um, the weather is just, you can't fault it at all, it is superb, the water's warming I think as we get through here and um, that's it, that's it for the kings, we'll probably touch base with you when we're back, I'm going to be smoking some fish tomorrow, so yeah. Look at the frickin' stay of it, just beautiful we're around the north cape so we've, we've sort of killed the majority of the distance back home it's just this absolutely stunning sunday afternoon um kerry's been having a bit of a moy i think luke's down right now but just enjoying the remainder of this trip Bay. They're getting bigger. Good trip, mate. We'll see you whenever. Next time. Yeah. Good trip, mate. Brilliant. That was good fun. I enjoyed that. Look at that, Trevor. That's a good Trev. Right, preparing half of these for smoke back on dry land. Some, we're, of course, we're just going to eat and fill it. Um, some, like this Trev and the Kings, we're going to smoke the whole lot. So, that's what we're doing. Fridge full of fish. Oh, we've got some power. We've got everything there ready for tomorrow. Whoa, Trevally sashimi. Look at that. Ah, oh, okay. So when you load your smokehouse, you load it from the top down. Yeah. Because if you load it from the bottom up, if you start moving around, all the shit drops on them. Drops on them. Yeah. Yeah. So like, and the same thing when you get to take them out, you start at the bottom, take the bottom yeah. stuff out. And... Okay, good morning everybody. It's Monday. Had a cracker of a sleep last night. We're smoking fish today, just following up from yesterday's video. Also, while we're smoking fish, we're trying to fix my boat. So I've got some coils here. I've got some parts. We're trying to get the Thundercat running mint again. And, um, yeah, just watch the smoke all day. Dad is probably the best fish smoker I know of. Um, just use a big, that big old smokehouse, which you've seen. Real fire, real smoke. Uh, mainly tea tree or probably all tea tree and only salt because if you put sugar on your smoked fish you're ruining your smoked fish as far as I'm concerned so that's what we're up to
All right, boat update. We've just replaced three parts. Two of them are unnecessary. We've finally found the issue with the outboard. What was that? The CDI. Yeah. CDI was crapping out. It has been for a long time, but we've just... She's just run 100% for the first time in a long while, so I'm pretty happy. Wow, he's really oily. Mm. Yes, yeah, so, um, that blue, blue bin, whole blue bin. Yeah. Is that all mine? Yeah. Have you got enough for you? Well, I mean, it's about, what, 15 kilos worth there? <laughs> or something? I mean, it's a lot. Yeah, I bet it is. Yeah, well, 12 kilos. And you've know. got enough for you? Yeah. Okay, smoked fish dropped off to Kerry. He got his probably, I don't know, 12, 15 kilos on a smoked clingy. Um, I'm, I'm wrapping up the video here. It's Monday afternoon. I really want to get home. I feel like I've pretty much been away since late on Christmas Eve, which you pretty much have with the Thundercat Nationals, Christmas, New Year's. Haven't actually done a lot of diving. This was my first time diving uh, this year, this King's trip. So um, I, I kind of feel like I dove like shit. I've looked over a lot of the footage. I sort of dove pretty poorly and I guess that was maybe a little bit of nerves and and just generally you know like I hadn't dove in a couple of weeks so the breath hold was a little bit down and um, but overall just just an absolutely incredible experience the Kings is exactly like you'd expect it to be I really don't have too much else to say about that um, looking forward to going back uh, we'll be trying to do another trip or two possibly this summer who, who you know who knows we really don't know because it's taken us quite a while to get there so um, huge thanks to Kerry for making the trip happen. Huge thanks uh, to Luke for coming along. Of course, Luke is, I guess, he's New Zealand's biggest spearfishing content creator. I'm assuming everyone who out there watching this video knows who Luke is anyway. So um, I'll be dropping links to his channel and social all down below. There'll be some links popping up on top for him and Kerry. I think my driver's door is partly open. And um, yeah, just so thank, thanks guys for coming. It was fuck. It was a really, really really good trip um i'm just looking forward to getting home putting out some more content getting back into the swing of things i'm really behind with a few orders i'm really behind with skim boards um so yeah expect a good year coming in 2020 got a lot happening we're gonna go out and try to shoot marlin soon too so um there we go thanks for watching i'm surprised i'll see you at the beach